Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at project synopsis. Synopsis was done as my natural language processing project at college. Synopsis generates a summary for your input data and the input data can be infinitely large in size. Synopsis isn't just a document summarizer. It also allows you to scrape the web for data. You can provide synopsis with an n number of web links and it will scrape all those websites to collect data for you. And it also has the option to take input in the form of PDF files and it also allows you to take input from text files. So if you already have some data collected with you, you can just copy it to a text txt file and synopsis will collect the data from there. Now, a document summarization model helps to reduce the reading time and it also helps to make the whole process of document selection faster. So let's move on to the project demonstration. Now we just need to decide the topic which has to be summarized and there is this play called a streetcar named desire and I'll be considering that as our topic. Now the output will be provided to you in the form of a PDF file so that it will be easy for reading and you will also be provided with a summary.txt file which will help you to copy paste the summarized data if needed. Yeah, so let's consider a streetcar named desire as our topic to be summarized and let's go to our web browser for collecting our URLs to the websites which have information regarding this topic. So yeah, let's copy this URL and here I am provided with four options and the first one is providing the input as a web data, as in the form of web data. So I will enter one and I will paste the URL here. So Synopsis has uh, finished scrapping the website and I'll enter one again to provide a new web link and so that's Wikipedia. Yeah, let's copy this URL and I'll paste it here and I'll and press one again and let's find a new website. So right now I have provided synopsis with three web links and it has finished scraping all those three websites. Yeah, let's provide it with two more websites and we can go to the summarization session for. So we have now provided synopsis with 5 web links and if I press 4 I will be able to see all the collected data so far and you can see the amount of data that has been collected with just 4 web links and synopsis allows you to give an n number of inputs and you can also give inputs from PDF files as well as I said earlier. So yeah. So let's move on. And so now we, Synopsis has asked me the question, so how many sentences I need in my summary? Uh, let's say 10. So I get a 10 sentence summary as my output. So if I give 1, I'll get a 1 sentence output. And if I give 5, so it's in, in an infinite loop. So you can, um, you have a lot of time to decide the number of sentences that you need in your summary. So let's say that we need, yeah, 10 sentence output. And we need to save it. So for saving, let's just enter 0 and you get the message your summary has been saved as output slash output dot pdf uh, the summary is also visible on the screen but let's view the pdf so here we have our output directory and in the output directory we have two files our output dot pdf and summary dot txt so let's view our output dot pdf so we get our summary here and so this is the summary that was generated by synopsis when we provided it with 5 web links and told it, told it to give us an output with 10 sentences. So the summarization technique I use is uh, extractive in nature. That means the sentences that have been used in the summary are taken exactly from the original input data and the best sentences are, have been chosen. So let's view our summary.txt. Actually there isn't much to view there. 
so that's our summary.txt and so that's it for this project demonstration i hope you found this project useful thank you